I'm Mehdi El Radi. I'm a self-employed carpenter and I live in Machuncliffe in Mid Wales. And that's my house. We've installed solar water heating system on our roof to uh, provide some or most of our hot water. If you'd like to um, learn a bit more about the controls and the inside part of this system, then just follow me, we'll go inside. When we decided to install a system, we contacted some local installers and engineers and just got a range of quotes and went with the most favourable. Um, and also somebody who met our needs. We didn't want flat plate collectors, we wanted solar evacuated tubes. So the solar panels are connected into a co copper cylinder full of water and they transfer the heat um, into the bottom of the tank and there's also a coil for the gas to the top of the tank. Okay, so some of the solar controls in the pump are back here. So in this black box is the pump for the solar hot water system and when there's enough of a temperature gradient, when, the, when it senses that the solar panels are hot enough, it turns on and we gain the solar heat into the hot water in the cylinder. Okay, so the solar panels on the roof are connected to a copper cylinder, a normal central heating cylinder. It's in this airing cupboard behind me. This is the Delta Sol controls for the solar collectors. And at the moment it's telling me that the collectors are on 43.5 centigrade. And actually this morning was a really frosty morning, it was cold at night, so 43 is well above air temperature outside. And when I press that button to the right, it's telling me the bottom of the tank is at 37.8 centigrade which is um, just about hot enough for a bath and that's almost entirely from the solar hot water and the top of the tank is on 52.6 centigrade which is um, definitely too hot, too hot for a bath this top box here is a really standard box control box for a set, set normal central heating system and um, it's easily programmable and I can tell I can set it for uh, hot water morning, evening, weekends, whenever I want uh, the, the two boxes work together really, so this one just boosts up the temperature of the tank um, by solar hot water. And actually today is the 4th of March and uh, you know there's plenty of solar hot water there which is great. I'm looking forward to my shower this evening. On average I'd say it's about 50% of our hot water is from the, from the solar panels. Um, in winter we use almost entirely gas still. Mm -hmm. But in autumn and in spring, the solar water heating provides about half of our hot water needs. And in summer, when the sun's shining, it's great because we can just have we can all our hot waters from the panels, and we can just turn the gas off. Maybe for an average for the summer is about ninety percent. No, we don't use we don't shower in the cold water. What we do is we just use the normal gas as a backup. So even if it's been even at five or ten minutes of sunshine, just brings up a few centigrade, and it means the gas has to work less hard. So we we consume less gas. The full cost of our system was very roughly about three thousand pounds, and we got about one thousand four hundred pounds in grants in return. But I know that this, the grant system is changing all the time and I understand now the government are going to be paying people um, a few hundred pounds a year for installing a system like this. So it's, in fact it's more and more viable. It's almost a waste to heat up a load of slates and tiles. Why not heat up some water? 